they catch me hollering at the moon Welcome, Los Angeles Waivers here with another anti-collision light review. Today we have the Firehouse Technology Arc XL. This is a brand new light from them. We've previously reviewed the Arc 2 strobe from Firehouse and they put out a new light and we just had to get our hands on it. So we're excited about this one. The Firehouse Arc 2 was one of our favorites uh, previously and this one just by the looks of it and some of the features looks like this is going to be our new favorite but we'll dig into it here. Uh, there's going to be some links in the bottom in the description to jump around the video. Uh, we realize not everybody likes to hear all the nitty gritty details that we're going to get into, so just jump around and catch the parts that you want. Otherwise, let's get into it. Alright, so let's open the box here and see what's inside. So, even before I open that, um, I like their new packaging. The Arc 2 previously came in just a plastic bag with no real information on it, and they really upped the packaging game this time, so there's all sorts of features on the back. There is some instructions even on the outside how to use it. I know you guys can't see that, but uh, take it from me, the packaging is much better on this version. So let's open it up here. All right, so fairly simple packaging. We have the light in a plastic tray, of course. We have a little instruction booklet, which is nice, and a USB charging cable. Uh, which is also nice. Let's pull this apart quick and see how long the USB cable is. Looks to be a pretty short one. So yeah, maybe six inches long. Uh, that's plenty for charging. You know, you don't need a, a foot long or two foot long USB cable. Uh, so nice there. We'll hit the instruction book quick. So they, they have kind of the standard instructions in here, how to turn it on and off and how to charge it. Pretty basic, but what I really like is they have a FAA compliance visibility testing documentation section. So it describes how they tested this to see if they could see it three miles. They even have some information on the back on some of the lighting angles. So a zero or 45 degrees or 90 degrees and so on. So they really put a lot of information in here that's nice to see. So uh, kudos to them for including that. So let's take a look at the light here. Okay. So the light itself, uh, just gotta say, much better packaging than the previous version. Um, I think they took a, a page out of Loom Cube's book here. So uh, the light actually has a nice case. Um, we do have the, the old Arc 2 strobe here quick, just for reference. Uh, so obviously you can see much nicer packaging and, and case on it. Uh, there are five LED drivers, and so that's probably how they increase the lumen output on this one. Uh, this one is rated at a thousand lumens now, so it's the brightest light on the market, at least by the specs. Uh, you have a USB charging port on one side, the speaker port on the other side. We'll hit on that in a second on why that's there. And then what I really like too is the power button is actually on the side now. So a lot of the lights it used to be on the top where you'd either press the lens or a little button, but now they just included a button on the side, so it's much easier just to grab and turn it on here. And we'll go over the operation in another segment here, but for now, very simple to turn on and off. Uh, so yeah, really like the case. Uh, it's much, much more, a much bigger improvement over the old version. And finally, the adhesive. So previously, again on the Arc 2, they included just a very small piece of VHB tape. So massive improvements here. They've included two different options. So one is just a piece of VHB cut to size that fits the light perfectly. So this is just double-sided adhesive tape, but it's really high quality. It's 3M, it's BHB, so it sticks really well. The other option is a Velcro. So this is just standard Velcro. Pull it apart here. Yeah, so just standard Velcro, which I can appreciate, but it would have been really nice to see dual lock. Uh, I love dual lock. I've said it before in videos. It's kind of my favorite way to mount stuff but still pretty good job by Firehouse. So just a standard piece of Velcro. It is 3M, so it is high quality. And so again, it's cut to size to so the back of the light and you would just stick it on there. 
and then mount it to your drone. Very simple. It's a nice touch. All right, and that's really, that's all in the box. We'll hit charging and weight next. Okay, so now we're gonna do the weight and size of the light. So just get some basic measurements first with the caliper. So we'll measure the width first, approximately 30 millimeters. The length, approximately 52 millimeters. And the total height, approximately 17 millimeters. And just so you can see, maybe compared to some of the other lights out there, it is bigger. Uh, so it's about twice as big as the Arc 2 strobe, the, the old version. And we also have the Loon Cube here just for, for reference as well. So it's maybe one and a half times bigger than the Loon Cube. So it is kind of a big light, but that's because it has one extra LED driver and it also has a land system, a lost aircraft notification device. And we'll talk about that when we get to the operations section, but a little bit more circuitry inside. Uh, so it's a little bigger light this time around. Lastly, let's hit the weight quick. Okay, so the light is 15 grams. So again, a little bit heavier than some of the other two models, the Arc 2 and the Loon Cube, but again, it's a bigger light, a little more circuitry, and they do have a little bigger battery than the Loon Cube in there as well. So 15 grams on the weight. Okay, so let's go over the charging and endurance on the Arc XL. So I have the, uh, just a battery pack here for demonstration purposes, we use the USB cable. Uh, so all we're gonna do is just plug in using the USB port on the end. And as you can see, the an LED pops on when it's charging and, it, and it's a red color. And so I actually really like this. On some of the older versions and the Loom Cube, all it has is kind of a blinking white light that, and it reuses the LED drivers that are part of the light. Uh, so it's a little hard to tell if it's charging or, or it's full or, or not. This one is very obvious. The red light means it's charging and when it's completed charging, it'll actually turn green. So a really nice indication of charging status and takes about an hour, hour and a half. There is a 240 milliamp battery inside and that is equivalent in size to the old Firehouse Arc 2 strobe and it is a little bit bigger than the Loom Cube strobe. So they say that this will last about four and a half hours uh, running time and so plenty of battery life to get you through a night of, of flying and you can always just charge it quick if you need to, it's very simple. All right, and then the last little thing on charging is you can just press the button on the side, one short press, to get a status of the charge. So two blinks means it's charged and ready to go. Okay, let's go over how to operate the Firehouse Arc XL. And just like the previous version in the Loom Cube, this one operates just the same. So we'll start by just checking charge status again with a single short press. And we have two beeps, so it's charged and ready to go. So to turn it on, we're gonna press and hold for about three seconds. And in this mode, you have a short strobe. It's just a really quick blip, and it's approximately one per second, so 60 hertz. And now if we short press again, we're gonna get a little bit longer strobe, so it's about 50% on, 50% off, still at one per second. Um, this personally is my favorite mode. It has kind of a nice balance of on and off so that you are nice and visible for those aircraft flying around. And finally, one more mode. So we short press again, and this is just a continuous on mode. So you could use this to actually dig around your gear bag, pre-flight air aircraft and so on. It's just kind of a nice light at that point. But do keep in mind for anti-collision lights, they do have to be strobing. So this wouldn't work once you're actually flying. So one more short press and we're gonna get back to the short strobing mode. And now to turn it off, we're gonna press and hold for three seconds. And there we go, so that's it. So this light has an additional feature called land. It's a new thing that Firehouse added to this light and we're kind of excited to try this one out. So land stands for lost aircraft notification device. And so what they say is if you power this on and leave it stationary for about three to four minutes, uh, let's check the box actually. So I believe it's three minutes, but we're gonna check that out here in a second. But roughly three to four minutes. 
So once it's stationary for that amount of time, it'll actually start beeping. So there's a 90 decibel buzzer inside of here. And that's what that little speaker port was for when we went over the features on, in the unboxing. And so this will help you acquire aircraft if you were to crash maybe, or maybe you, you just lost it and it's on. This will help you acquire it. So let's just try that out here quick. So we're gonna turn it on. And you have to leave it stationary because obviously it, you don't want it buzzing when it's airborne and moving around. So any sort of movement will reset it and it will kind of reset that clock, that three, four minutes. So we're just gonna let this sit here for three, four minutes and we'll see if it does indeed start buzzing. Hey, there we go. <laughs> so that's it. All right, so, oh, if I move it actually, it'll reset. So let's just let it sit here for a second. So this is the land feature. So again, if your drone crashed or you lost it and this was on, you, they actually recommend, so actually it's in the instructions. So they say to, you know, use your map to kind of get in the general location. Oh, I think I moved the table too much. <laughs> so it's very sensitive, which is good. You don't want this beeping while you're flying, but they say to use the map feature, kind of get yourself in approximate vicinity of where you think you lost it. And then that buzzer will kind of help you get the last mile uh, to find your aircraft. So pretty cool feature. And as you can see, it's quite sensitive. So uh, should be no problem with putting this on the aircraft, flying around and really never having it beep. The one uh, maybe concern that I do have is during pre-flight, so just before you take off and land, you'll kind of have to be, I would say, quick when you are ready to take off, maybe turn the light on, kind of step back and immediately take off. If you let this sit too long on the ground, it's going to start beeping at you and might get annoying. So uh, that's, that's kind of good practice anyways. This light is very bright. It can ruin your night vision. So our standard procedure is just to leave it off until we're ready to go, turn it on, take off, and go. So that's the land feature. Okay, to wrap up here, I'm just gonna go over some impressions, kind of initial, you know, pull it out of the box and, and what I think impressions. So first off, uh, you know, kudos to them for improving nearly every aspect of this light, to be honest. The Arc 2 was our previous favorite light. It was inexpensive. The case in the packaging wasn't so great, but it was super bright and inexpensive. So, you know, kind of good bang for the buck. They basically upgraded everything on this one. So the packaging is great. It's a nice little box with all, all sorts of information on it. The actual light has a case now, so it should be waterproof, dustproof, and so on. And it's a more durable. Frankly, the Arc 2, uh, we, we liked it a lot, but actually the, the heat shrink that used to be around it actually cracked off. So you can see I, I kind of had to fix that with a little electrical tape. Uh, and it still works great, it's just, you know, could use a little better case. And this one definitely improves on that. So nice to see that. Um, some of the other features, the side button, I'm a big fan of that. If you remember our Loom Cube video, you can actually turn the Loom Cube on inadvertently from the bottom without even trying. Uh, so I wasn't a big fan of that and Firehouse has put the button on the side. So there's no way that you can really inadvertently turn this on when you're putting the, the light on your aircraft and, or pressing that lens by accident or anything like that. So I do like the side button. The land feature is kind of a cool new feature. Um, I don't know of any other light that has that, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but I think it's gonna be a, a good feature to have and we're excited to test it out when we actually go, go fly and, and do some night operations. Um, otherwise, the mounting options, so if you remember the old ARC-2 had just a small piece of little double-sided tape, I'm not even sure it was VHB to be honest, but they definitely came through this time. So you have two options again, the VHB, the Velcro, and they're cut to size. So no problems with mounting options, uh, good improvement there. I could use some dual lock firehouse if you're listening, but this is pretty good, pretty good job otherwise. Um, and the instructions. So. This is the first time I've seen a light company actually try and do some sort of compliance documentation. Now, it's not like lab testing and super official, but it's definitely better than any of the other companies I've seen. So they actually talk about how they tested it at three miles. They claim this one is actually good out to four, uh, so we'll be excited to see that. But they, they explain how they tested it out to three miles, use visual observers, and then they have this really nice write-up on 
how the light is visible at different angles. So if you mount it you know, straight up, that's how they recommend it. Or if you mount it at a 45 degrees and so on, they tell you how much light you can expect to see. Uh, so a lot of good information in that little booklet. So overall, I think Firehouse has been listening. They've improved, again, just about every aspect of this light. Uh, I have no doubt it's gonna become our new favorite and we're excited to go out and do some flying with it. Keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you. I'm